The eclipsed confirmation has detrimental torsional strain, making that confirmation less likely to form. But there is scope for the staggered confirmation to have beneficial effects, making it more likely to form. Let's focus on just four atoms. A lower hydrogen leading to a central carbon, leading to behind that another central carbon that leads ultimately to a higher hydrogen. This arrangement of atoms is described as antiperiplanar, which is key to the effect occurring. Here are the orbitals. We have a carbon-hydrogen bonding orbital in blue. Notice that the orbital of the hydrogen is in contact with a lobe of a carbon orbital, where both are in phase. In this case, they're both shaded or cloudy. There is also an antibonding orbital. Here it is in red. And you can see that hydrogen and carbon orbitals are not in contact, with the nearest portions not in phase. One shaded and the other being clear. The bonding orbital is HOMO highest occupied molecular orbital. The antibonding orbital is LUMO, lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. So we have two electrons in the bonding orbital and no electrons in the antibonding orbital. But we get beneficial stabilizing effects between the electrons in the bonding orbital and the antibonding orbital. This results in a lower energy, making the staggered conformation much more likely to form. This effect is generally described as the gauche effect. It can vary in strength depending on the substituents. If you replace one of the hydrogens with a fluorine, the gauche effect would become much stronger. There's a subclass of Gauche effect called an anomeric effect. We find it in sugar and sugar-like molecules. Torsional strain is why the eclipse conformation has higher energy. It only applies where two substituents are attached to atoms that are bonded to each other. That's like saying the two substituents are separated by three bonds. There are a number of factors that contribute towards torsional strain, and at least one of them I think will surprise you. Let's deal with what might be the obvious one first of all. The electrons going around the region of the atom of the substituents repel the electrons in the other atom region of the other substituent. This is at best very minimal especially where the substituents are hydrogens. So, what's left? Well, there is greater repulsion between electrons that are in the area that was associated with the orbitals of the atoms that are bonded to each other, in this case, the carbon atom. But the largest contributing factor to torsional strain is nothing to do with the eclipse conformation. It's the fact that with the staggered conformation, there is beneficial stabilization that we'll talk about in a moment.